Start with a circle, then draw a semicircle on either side of it and a semicircle on top and bottom of it. Connect these semicircles together to form a perfect square. Once you've done this, draw a line for the middle of the square and then draw diagonal lines from each corner inwards and outwards to form this pattern. Once you have this, where it meets the line, draw more lines to create 16 squares. And where they meet, draw more lines to make 64 squares. Once you have the 64 squares, you will then be able to connect all the corners, every two to every one. So you're going two to one ratio all the way across in each direction. And you will form a beautiful triangular grid. Once you've done this, you'll need to do the horizontal triangle. So again, two across and one up, two across and one up, all the way across your page so that you have this design filled in from your grid. You'll notice there is no measurement required. Once you have these shapes, everything else can be drawn from this pattern. Then use your pen, create a border around the edge to fill in your square. And once you've done that, dissect it in half, dissect it in half again, and you will end up with 16 squares. Then, using the guidelines you've just used, use your pen to pick out the triangles for your design. Each triangle will fit inside each square perfectly by using the guidelines you've just drawn. Make sure you don't go right to the edge of the square and you leave a gap for the other half of the triangle to fit. You'll see that the pattern will radiate out from the center and form this really lovely, pleasing geometric design. Make sure when you're doing it that they line up across the squares so that you have perfect balance and harmony. Connect in like a mirror from each one so each one is mirrored from the one next to it. Once you've drawn in these triangle shapes, fill in all the way outwards from the center to form this beautiful geometric design. It's used in all sorts of different motifs and you may have seen it in some architectural forms. Add in the last few triangles and you will then have 64 triangles inside a cube. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed drawing one of these with me.